And that's really beautiful, if I do say so myself. Three apps on the screen at once, news, YouTube, and Safari. Hey, Wear Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome tech videos about things like smartwatches, smartphones, tech accessories, computers, tablets, and really just so much more. Anyway, folks, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five easy iPad multitasking tricks on my M1 iPad Pro right here. So let's do this. So the first trick I'm gonna be showing you guys here on my beautiful 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro is how to just do normal split screen on the iPad. So let's just open up Safari and that can be one of our apps. And then for the other app, let's do YouTube. So you're, what you're gonna wanna do is swipe up from the bottom of the screen ever so gently just like that to make your dock appear. And then you can grab an app out of your dock that you wanna multitask with. So again, we're doing YouTube and then you're just gonna wanna drag it to the side just like that and boom, now we're split screen multitasking. We've got two screens right here. We can go to the Apple website on the left, YouTube over here on the right. If we want to switch them around, we can do that nice and easy. And we can also change the size of the screen they take up. Now for the second trick, I'm going to show you guys how to make an app pop up and have a pop up screen on top of your current full screen app. So to do that, once again, you're going to want to swipe up and come over here to the dock. And you know what, which app should we do this time? Let's do music so we can pull it over. And then instead of pulling it all the way to the side like that, just leave it on top of the screen like this. And now boom, look, you've got a pop up screen right here. You can play a song in your music app. So whatever song you want to play. And then when you're done with the music app, you can simply swipe over to the side and make it disappear but you know what is cool when you're using a pop-up screen like that you could simply sw swipe from the side of the screen and make it reappear and you can also move it to whichever side of the screen you want so maybe I want it on this side and then I can go ahead and put it back away when I don't want to use it and bring it back whenever I do so I think apps that are great for this experience right here are music or maybe messages if you want to just shoot a quick text uh, while still focusing on the app you're actually using next for trick number three guys I'm gonna be showing you how to have three different apps open at once now this is where it's starts to get crazy folks. So here we are still in Safari. Now I'm going to pull up YouTube again and I'm going to put that to the side just like I showed you. So you're just going to want to pull it over here and now I have two apps open and now guess how you bring the third app open. You just swipe over and bring that pop up screen over here. And then anyway folks now if you want to have a different app in the pop up view you can simply go back to your single screen view just like this. And then let's say we want to have news in the pop up view. We can put it right there and now we can put this to the side and then let's grab YouTube again and let's just put it on the um, split screen view right there and then swipe and then voila and now we've got news over here and that's really beautiful if I do say so myself three apps on the screen at once news YouTube and Safari that is awesome so now next I'm going to be showing you guys trick number four which is actually how to have multiple Safari windows open at once so we can come back over here into Safari we can hold down the plus right here and then we can drag this tab out and then we can drag it to the side and boom, that was super easy. So this is super awesome because now you can literally browse two websites at once on your iPad. We got the Google website over here, Apple website over here, and I just think this is very nice as well. Now you know how to do that, and maybe we can start another tab over here, start another tab over here, and we can open up Yahoo over here, we can open up Wikipedia over here, and we can really just use these tabs. So now anyway guys, trick number five I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually gestures. And now you might be saying, wait, gestures, but my iPad, if you're using an iPad Pro like this, already doesn't have a home button, so technically this is a gesture, right? No, I'm going to be showing you something cooler than that. So basically with your iPad, you can actually take four fingers and you could swipe up like that to go to your home screen. You can also take five fingers if you want and go like this to go to your home screen, or you can swipe up more slowly with those five fingers to see your multitasking view. And we can switch over here to YouTube, and then you know what? We can use what we learned earlier and we could put, let's say, the music app right here on the side and then we can gesture four fingers up to go back to the multitasking view and as you can see we've got two apps open right here YouTube and music and then we've got two of the same app open right here two Safari windows another gesture that you guys should know is if you still take these four fingers you can actually switch between those open windows just like this and I think this is super cool because we got two apps here and then we got two instances of an app here and you can rapidly switch back and forth just like that so anyway folks with that that'll cut it for this where notice video 
video showing you five easy iPad multitasking tricks, how to split your screen like a boss using none other than my beautiful M1 iPad Pro right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. I'll also have links down in the description to some other videos I've made about my M1 iPad Pro right here, including my full unboxing of it and some unboxings of different cases for it if you guys want more iPad content right there. But guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.